If you've been to DIA lately, you probably are well aware of all the construction underway. Yeah, especially that construction of the new West Security Checkpoint, which is aimed at easing traffic at both the North and South checkpoints there. Your reporter Michael Beta joins us live now from the airport. Michael, what can people expect from this project when it's done? Well, Karen, the name of the game is efficiency. All the high tech behind these gates has one purpose, to streamline the security check process and get people to their flight. Now, this checkpoint has 17 lanes, each staffed by three TSA agents and a bunch of new tech. The first thing passengers will notice is they don't have to pull out their ID. If they have a boarding pass, they can get a facial recognition scan and be on their way. If they do need to present an ID, they can scan their Colorado digital ID on their phone. Next, they will load their bags onto these bins, which replenish themselves and they won't have to take out electronics, electronics larger than a cell phone because these are like our CT scanners like you see in a doctor's office, which can take a 3D image of what's inside the bag. The images are looked at in another part of the airport and if a bag needs special attention, it's separated from the pack. If the scan detects something dangerous, it can get sequestered in what they call a penalty box. The new setup also makes it possible to bring medically required liquids through the TSA thanks to this scanning machine. The airport and TSA hopes this will keep lines flowing freely. Building these automated screening lanes, which are the latest technology in terms of that approach through the checkpoint, and having this across the entire checkpoint is a huge plus for us. First of all, for our officers, no matter where they work in the checkpoint, they're going to have the same type of equipment. For travelers who come through here regularly, no matter what lane they go through, they're going to get used to this process. And all of that helps make the entire operation more efficient. Now, coming up at 6, I'll give you a closer look at what's behind these gates and let you know the future of the current checkpoints in the airport. At DIA, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First. We are intrigued to see behind those gates. Michael, thanks so much. We'll see you in a bit.